Today is launch day and I'm a little nervous. I've worked the entire year on this. Today we launch stocks on Larsen Line Pro and not just a few. 100,000 stocks in 50 markets. Larsen Line fully automated for 100,000 stocks and not just that. One thing that has been really successful in crypto is the notion of comparing altcoins to BTC. Not just chart the altcoins against the dollar. Is it going better than BTC? Or as in many cases, not. Then why are people only comparing stocks to USD when the stock market as a whole over 100 years have been a straight line on the log chart with only small corrections and wiggles around that line? Up in USD is really fooling yourself also with stocks. Anyone can do that. It's not enough. So I've taken stocks a step further and applied a similar idea and calculate Larsen line for that as well. Fully automated for 100,000 stocks. In crypto we have coins versus B for BTC. In stocks we have against B for, well, Bindex. No one has done anything like this before. We're sailing through uncharted waters. There's a lot of boats behind us trying to catch up. But there are no ships in front. Of course, we can filter on volume, we can filter on exchange, or maybe London Stock Exchange. We have automatic alerts for anything that flips in your watch list or portfolio, giving you both opportunities and protection of your capital. Full support on the portfolio page. Full support in community portfolios. Oh my, when I started this, I thought it would be easy to add stocks. I've already done crypto, right? How hard can it be? Just add another data feed, right? I had no idea, but I learned. Stock markets are a crazy mishmash of systems. A huge number of exchanges, different currencies. Good Friday is a holiday in the US, so that weekly candle closes on a Thursday on Nasdaq. But in Denmark, Mordi Thursday is also a holiday. So in Denmark, that candle closes on a Wednesday. Splits. Suddenly the entire price history is not comparable to tomorrow's price. And when you finally think you got everything sorted out, GBX. What is GBX currency? It's pence. For example, AstraZeneca, which was once upon a time in a land far away a great company when it was Swedish Astra that invented Losec that became the most selling medicine ever curing ulcer for the whole world. That's trading on London Stock Exchange in pence. The price is 11,000 pence. Who even comes up with all this? You can't understand how messy this is unless you've worked with it. Larry Fink obviously does. We believe the next step going forward will be the tokenization of financial assets. And that means every stock, every bond will have its own basically QSIP. It'll be on one general ledger. So when you listen to him talking about tokenization of all assets, now you know how big of a simplification this would be. Crypto blockchain as comparison. There is always a quote. 24 hours a day. There is a quote on Good Friday, Mordi Thursday and on Swedish Midsummer. Everything in one format, one system, in one commonly accepted currency. Enormous difference. If I had known how much work it was to add stocks, I would probably never have done it. That's why you have to be a little bit of an optimist to ever create anything. But now it's ready. Launching today. So how much extra will this cost you to get this feature? So much time to build. And I've 10 x my server cost to process it. In crypto there were like 10,000 active coins. Now I've added 100,000 stocks. So how much? Zero. It's included for all pro members. I promised early everything added will be included for our early adopters. There will be no pro plus, no pro max, no pro ultra, no enterprise, only pro. And more stuff will come during this spring. Today is the stocks launch. But why even bother with stocks? Why not only do crypto? Isn't Bitcoin the fastest horse anyway? Well, Three reasons. Now all these guys, these tech company CEOs, they now 
report to you. And I think don't even rule out this guy yet. Maybe they don't report physically in your office, but they will write quarterly and yearly reports to you, the shareholders, their boss. Having a stake in that will change your perspective on the world. You will learn so much and you will never really bother unless you have a stake in their success. It's the same as with crypto. No one ever understands crypto until they've bought some Bitcoin or some altcoins and started paying attention actually trying to understand. Participate in Era Digitalis happening right now. Much of this is done by companies. Have a stake in the future. The second reason is more practical. Crypto charts and tech stock charts look exactly the same, just on different time frames. So stuff you learn in one domain is immediately useful in the other domain. I think that's one unfair advantage that I've personally had all this time. I understand technology in a company setup and I could apply that understanding on crypto projects. Those who only do crypto cannot. Same in the other direction. The trading and manipulation and craziness is amplified and accelerated in crypto. In two years in crypto, you gain 20 years of learning from the stock market. I'm not exaggerating those numbers. It's not hyperbole. Those are the rough orders of magnitude. If comparing the fractals or the type of chart between tech stocks and crypto. So when you master crypto trading, taking those learnings to tech stocks, the stock market feels like child's play. You cross benefit in both directions. Reason number three is math. Diversifying into two equally great areas, crypto and tech stocks, is mathematically better. I'm not going to give a lesson in statistics now, but it's better. Also, the timing for many stocks now is interesting. Yields have really shot up again, causing the stock market to dump while in a strong uptrend. Then for some stocks who got pulled along in the general rally, they are already turning the trend back down. While for other perhaps stronger stocks, this is a dip in an uptrend, which is generally an opportunity under this process. During the three or so weeks where this has roughly been working, while I've fine-tuned and checked data consistency due to all those issues, I have found several very interesting opportunities that I would never have found otherwise without these tools. And same as for crypto. I think the even bigger value here is the consistency, the portfolio page, helping to protect capital when the trend turns down and helping to hold on to the uptrend and not sell the winners too early, while at the same time not riding a huge success all the way back down again. If you're already a pro member, congratulations, I've just uploaded a detailed instruction video how to use it and the tool is already live. And to everyone who will now write here in the YouTube comments, waste of time, no content, only selling something. Well, the opportunity for you here is that a tool like this didn't exist yesterday. Now it does. And you found out now. It's likely that I will later have to remove this from open access. We're growing fast and I need to protect the liquidity for my own entries. But existing members will remain. That's my commitment. For clarity, the regular Larsen line already works for both tech stocks and crypto. Now we're adding it to pro as well. If you're not a pro member yet, go here to ctolarsen.com and press pro. You can either pay with card as well as major cryptocurrencies, whichever you prefer. I've worked hard to bring this guys. I'm sure there will be kinks to work out as there always is. The whole tool is less than a year old. But see the trend here. Where we're going guys. And one more thing. I added Forex as well. Thank you for your support and your patience everyone. Today is a great day. Thank you Tak. See you Lars Nott.